Alrighty, outdoorsy dudes, welcome back to another outdoorsy dude video. Uh, now, I'm not going to try super hard in this one, because apparently you guys don't care so much for my drone videos and my cinematic hiking videos, or at least the views don't tell me that you care. Um, apparently, what most people are super duper interested in, in fact, way more people than I have than subscribers, look at the graph, um, thousands of you want to debate which water bottle is better than the other. Um, why you're so interested in this, I'll never understand, but if that's what you want, that's what I'm gonna give you. So if you haven't seen the first video, go ahead and watch it. There's gonna be a link somewhere. Uh, if you have, then you know what to expect here. We're doing a follow-up. We're gonna look over all the comments on the last one, and we are going to see if perhaps it changes my position on this matter. So let's get started. Okay, so newest comments first, oldest comments last. Let's get started right here. Robo Pecha. I like to have both. Hmm, interesting stance that I've never considered because wide mouths suck. <laughs> I like the small mouth better for drinking water. Oh, because it's the best water bottle here, and that's what we've been debating the whole time. Maybe. Uh, but I like to have the wide mouth, too, because it looks cuter. Okay. Okay, now we're buying a water bottle for how cute it is. You're starting to sound like a hydro flasker. Ugh. Um, and in case I want to use it for anything else than water, like put a tea bag in it or even something I want to eat with a spoon or pieces of fruit, I have not done it yet, but I think think about it. Interesting, interesting. This is an argument that I hear all the time from our wide mouth hipster gang, um, and it is that the wide mouth enables you to fill the bottle with things other than water, such as food and, you know, spoon thingies and tea and whatever. All very true. Uh, yet what Robo Pecha is saying here is very accurate to what I have seen amongst my friends. All of them, all of them claim that the wide mouth does this better but I have never seen or heard of them actually doing it. So if it can do something that's totally needless, why does it matter? Also, when I use it in daily life, I pour water into it from a bottle and I manage to pour into both kinds of opening just fine. Cool, good to hear, I like it. Let's give a like, let's give a heart, let's a reply here. You know what, I'm gonna say, you know what you are talking about, Robo Pecha. How do I do that at Robo Pecha? You know what you are talking about. Boom. Uh, Trent Riley, six days ago. I def prefer the narrow mouth because it's easier to drink out of, like I've said so many times already. Uh, and I won't be spilling water in myself like I did with the wide mouth. Truth! Liam Towered rolls in and goes, Get bent, Trent, wide mouth all the way. Whoa there, bud. Whoa there, bud. Remember, I did the first video to try and calm the debate. It began with an insult to my intelligence from a friend, and now we're telling Trent to get bent. You know what, Trent? Don't get bent. You stay real, my friend, because you are a narrow mouther. Let's make sure we liked that and hearted that. Good. Dislike Liam's reply. Excellent. Hero. Bought a 14-ounce wide mouth. Ah, it's this comment. Yes. So he used a wide mouth bottle to hold his keys in his towel while swimming. I have to admit it's not the most practical, but it worked and saved the day. Probably will buy something more practical, but meanwhile, I can always use this. Okay. So he says it worked, and it sounds like it would work just fine. Basically, he put keys in water and stuff, keys and towel and thing in his bottle, carried around while swimming. Uh, but he says he's going to buy something else. So why is that? What did the wide mouth not do that the vinyl pouch could apparently do that you're planning on buying? I don't know, man. Uh, but apparently, it's not perfect if you're planning on upgrading. So for this reason, I'm with the wide mouth bottle team. Uh, sounds legit, I guess. I'll admit it needs an update, which we're doing right now. I think I'm being swayed to the other side. You know what? Let's edit that. That's not true. Edit. Let's get rid of that. Because it's a lie. <laughs> um... About pouring, I would also add, can't you pour water on a bottle, you kids? Damn, y'all wide mouthers are being called out. Apparently, wide mouthers all need bigger openings because they can't pour, uh, but pivot LOL 77 is really just calling you out. Damn, wide mouth gang being called out. There we go. 
Wide mouthers are so hipsters. Spitting some truths right there. I like it. Uh, Chicken Lurkin Young Chihuahua says, I've been using narrow mouth for years. I love them because I usually hate sticking my sweaty lips on the bottle rim. Convenient way for me not to wash them regularly too. The dramatization is real because I've done that with my Hydro Flask Lamau. Damn. Here's a person who knows what they're talking about. Just truth. Narrow is better. Wide is not as good. Uh, here we go. Here we go. Have you heard of Cam's Kicks? Dude, you could be brothers. No, I have not. But apparently we're brothers, so hi, Cam's Kicks. Uh, spilling water on yourself sucks, but being able to clean with a wide mouth with a brush makes it worth it. Why? What are we cleaning with a brush that can't be sanitized with hot soapy water? What are you cleaning with a brush? Cleaning with a brush that can't be sanitized. Hot soapy water. Boom. Uh, dear Squilliam, thank you for the enjoyable video. I have been having an internal debate on this subject for some time, and I am glad to find a kindred spirit. Your reaction of drinking from the wide mouth was a true reflection of a daily occurrence for me as a wide mouther. Wow, wide mouther admitting that the wide mouth regularly spills water on them. You have missed some of the key points in this important debate, as some of the other commenters have pointed out. And I replied here. I said, happy to keep the debate going. Only thing I've heard so far is if you don't have a dishwasher, then fair enough. I'm still not swayed to the other side, though. Mm -mm -mm. Not getting there. Not yet. Keep it going, though. Hey, <laughs> hey. Okay, I'll play. Cool. Little foot feet. Ice cubes? Totally fair. Uh, personally, my ice cubes fit inside my marrow mouth bottle. Not for everybody, I guess. Uh, but ice cubes, are they that important? If you're going on a hike any longer than three hours, do ice cubes matter anymore? No, because they melt off and you don't have any more ice cubes to put in. Personally, I love multi-day trips. Two, three, four, fifteen day trips. When ice cubes just don't matter. They just don't. It's not a big concern. Uh, what else do we have here? Put stuff other than water, like juice. Um, don't have a dishwasher. Some people want to scrub even if it's not required. That's called being unnecessary. Hmm. <laughs> I'm being so cheeky. Uh, and the wide mouth is compatible with the MSR filters. Those filters suck. Not gonna lie, the pump ones, those things are so annoying. Uh, dishwasher again. Yeah, okay, so we've talked about this. Mainly the dishwasher and the ice thing. I don't love the MSR pumps. Really don't. And yes, I'm being cheeky at this point. Let's be honest. Uh, I have both and prefer the wide mouth. All right, well, we can just ignore you. <laughs> you can literally cram that dude full of ice, fair enough. I have a dinosaur pump. Terrible pump. Um, just in my opinion. Being cheeky. Again, I don't have a dishwasher, so it makes it hard to clean. I got the wide mouth. Would have gotten the narrow if it was a bit wider. Interesting. So maybe, now Jane, idea for you. Maybe you need a wide mouth and then a narrow mouth and then a medium mouth. And then I could make so many more videos on this topic. <laughs> Fair enough. Without the dishwasher, I could get it. Such a niche video, but just what I was after. I've got the 32, 48, looking for a 16. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Cool, cool. Yeah, well, fair enough. Uh, for late spring, summer, early autumn use when filtering is required, narrow mouth is better, especially when using these filters. For snow melting, wide mouth is better for pouring from a pot. No backpacking pots don't have spouts. Mine does. I don't know which one you have, but mine does. Fair point. Um, yeah, why is that? Why do no pots not have spouts? It's kind of weird. Look at graph, says Exib. Oh, yeah. Look at that graph. Look at it again. One more time, maybe. Uh, I love the narrow mouth. Yes, you know what you're talking about. I lost it a year ago. Had to buy a wide mouth. Still love the narrow mouth. Just having an algae makes you better than people with hydro flasks. Yes, it does. <laughs> It sure does. Um, lock top, aka the OTF, you get the benefits of both. Well, with a little more bulk and three more dollars. <laughs> three bucks, man. These are already $17 water bottles, so you're putting it up to 20. Kind of pricey. Canadian dollars, by the way. I mean, for three bucks, something that lasts a while sounds like a good deal to me. Mm, you could just buy a narrow mouth and not have to buy the extra thing. Anyway, narrow all day. Yes, you know what you're talking about. Narrow all day. Look at five likes on that comment. I like it. That's my guy. Nobody else is making sense. Narrow for days. 
Robo Petra says, also, I am almost breaking my neck trying to drink the last bit of water out of the wide mouth while the opening hits against my nose. Pain, pain and suffering is all you get when you buy this bottle. Don't you hear the commenters, people? Wide mouth is far superior because it is wide mouth and not narrow mouth. We got five likes on here. That's unacceptable. We got to dislike that. There we go. Uh, sounds a little biased to me and lacking in evidence, maybe. Uh, very good reasons. Trent. Looks like Trent did not get bent after all. Anyways, that's the comment section thus far. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of stuff get repeated. I am not seeing too much new things uh, get contributed. The first thing I'm hearing is those MSR pumps, which are notoriously a ripoff, let's be honest. Uh, they're bulky and they're painful to have to pump, so I ignore that piece of evidence right away. Um, everybody agrees that it's way, way easier to drink from a narrow mouth, uh, and that has to be a big factor. We're talking about which one's the best water bottle, and a water bottle should not be difficult to drink out of. It just shouldn't be. It shouldn't be spilling water on you. Uh, I'm hearing people wanting to put other things into it. We're still talking about a water bottle, but granted, it's a piece of outdoor gear, so it should be practical, so I'll play. Um, most people I've talked to, including Robo Pecha over here, have thought about and considered the idea of putting things inside their wide mouth bottle, but never actually done it. And you know what? I tried it once. Uh, a friend of mine and I made some dehydrated breakfast trail smoothie contraptions. Uh, first of all, they tasted horrible. It was just a bad recipe, just to begin with. Uh, but the process of actually cleaning it out in a way that played along with leave no trace principles and in a way that didn't leave an aftertaste was pretty much impossible. We managed to scatter the wastewater way away from the camp, which was good. But for the rest of the trip, Every sip of water that came out of here tasted like bad smoothie. So, not awfully useful. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Uh, I'm hearing the I don't have a dishwasher argument. Um, like I just said, you don't really want to put things other than water in any water bottle because the taste is going to linger. Uh, and if you just put water in it, then you can just sanitize it. It doesn't need to be scrubbed. It doesn't need to be wiped. It just needs hot, soapy water. And that's it. That's it. And the last thing, ice cubes. Sure, three hour, five hour hike, totally granted. Anything longer than that, you don't have any more ice cubes to keep putting into it, so it no longer matters. Me, I'm a multi-day kind of guy, so it doesn't matter to me. Even if you're going on a hike longer than six hours, it's only in the morning when it's the coolest out that that might be a problem. So I might admit that I'm a little more towards the wide mouth side by maybe one in a thousand but I'm really not there. We're going to have to do a lot better. What I really liked was the idea of a medium mouth between the narrow and the wide, because if the narrow is a little bit wider, it's still small enough to get your mouth around it. It's big enough for ice. It would then be big enough to get a brush in, but it's not just so big that it's spilling water on you. Mmm, interesting, interesting. So, some ideas for you there, Nalgene. Uh, I am happy to keep this debate going if that's what people want. Uh, <laughs> comment, like, dislike, whatever you want to do uh, to show your support or your disgust with my position on the matter. But can we all at least agree that no one with a Nalgene is the enemy, that the enemy is people with hydro flasks? Thank you. Perfect. If you like that video, like. If you share, subscribe, and favorite, then all that stuff is good. Um, check the graph. Cool. Give her a sub. Much appreciated. Uh, and uh, maybe next time we can debate which type of fabric is the best and go into horrendous detail on that. So cool. Let me know.